Well, Candace Henrico police confirmed that the two female Rottweilers owned by Franklin Boyd attacked a woman walking down the road back in February. Now, despite the dogs attacking multiple people, they might still be roaming the streets right now. It's been a little over a week since two Rottweilers attacked two little boys walking to their bus stop. The first child attacked in the surveillance video had minor injuries, but the second, six-year-old Abu Zakari, was hospitalized for severe wounds. His family says he barely made it out alive. I can't explain how much pain to me and see my son, he has attacked by two dogs. CBS 6 checked the state's dangerous dog database and ran crime reports on the dog's owner, but neither indicated these dogs had hurt anyone before. But then another victim came forward after seeing a report on this attack. She says she was walking her dog in February on Old Washington Highway. That's when she says two Rottweilers came out of nowhere. They followed her, circled her, and bit her, leaving a scratch. She says when the family saw the story, she, quote, wanted to make sure the family was aware it could have been prevented. Henrico police confirmed her attack. They say animal protection confirmed the dogs had their vaccinations and were able to provide advice on properly securing animals under one's care and the recommended quarantine for the dogs. Records show no charges were brought in that incident. CBS 6 consulted with legal expert Todd Stone. He explained why the dogs may have been allowed to roam free after the first incident in February. He says Virginia's codes for dog bites fall into two categories, dangerous dog versus vicious dog with serious injury. Uh, the law enforcement officer has the discretion to choose to charge it or not charge it. If it's a serious injury by a dog bite, then they have to charge it. Because of the lesser classification from the first incident, the dogs did not have to be registered as dangerous in the state database. It also meant the owner did not have to get $100,000 in insurance on the dogs. The owner, Franklin Boyd, is now facing seven charges from last week's attack. They range from multiple counts of vicious dog, dog running at large, and unlawful concealment of the dogs. That last charge he faces is for not turning the dogs over when asked by police. That means they still may not be with animal control. CBS 6 got a hold of Boyd by phone Friday evening. He said he didn't want to comment on the situation and said no comment when asked if he had turned the dogs over to police. Boyd is scheduled to appear in court on Monday. The Henrico Commonwealth attorney says they are working with animal control officers to determine if any and all past experiences involving the two dogs. She says if they believe that other charges are warranted, they will bring them.